when we talk about missions here in America, we must mention George Lyle. We hear stories about William Carey, I don't know, just some, uh, Jim Elliott, Nathan Saint, and those stories are used by missionaries to really encourage and to um, r r really open up minds to the possibilities of what missions could look like, especially in young hearts. Um, but when, when, when I think about it, it's not only what we see that encourages the possibilities, but also what we don't see uh, actually discourages some possibilities. Um, if you don't see them, and if you don't know about it, you have nothing to inspire you. Now, you ought to be inspired simply by the Word of God when He says, go and make disciples. That I inspire every believer because that's a command I believe to all believers, a great commission. But sometimes in that context, you need examples. So we have a wing in our church where we have a bunch of pictures up of uh, black Christian heroes. Um, and we have uh, George Lyle, he's the first one. And then we have Lot Carey, you know, missionary to West Africa. Uh, but we also have Frederick Douglass and Felix, Felix uh, Wheatley. And what we're just trying to show uh, our, our children, our youth and, and the church period is that uh, there have been people who look like you, who have done awesome things for the kingdom of God. And what that begins to do, the, that, that sows those seeds of possibilities into one's heart to say, you know what, maybe the Lord might be calling me to go. Maybe the Lord wants to use me. And I, I think that's the, 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 the big thing, that the Lord could, could use someone like me. If it was not important, why teach missions? You know what I'm saying? Why, why give any names in missions? You give the names of the missionaries whom God has used in missions to be an encouragement and to be an example and to help others go into missions. Okay, well maybe we'd have more African Americans going into missions if we hear examples of African Americans leaving this land and going in to a land they'd never been before. It really is um, a powerful tool to help bring up a new generation of missionaries uh, from this church and from African-American churches across the nation, uh, especially when we think about the, um, the diversifying demographics of uh, America and all that is at this coming for us. We can either be ready to mobilize this, this great diverse mission field or we're gonna be, we're gonna be lost. We're right at a uh, pivotal time, uh, especially in regards to uh, who will we be as the church. This moment presents a great opportunity because we know when does light shine the brightest, and that's in the darkness. The missions ministry of George Law is so important to us because uh, what you see gives you uh, an excitement and it, it, it helps to mobilize people because it's right there in front of your eyes. For that next generation of missionaries, we want to, we want to be able to, to, to sow those seeds into their hearts that say, you know what, I can go too. And if all the stories uh, that we hear about missionaries, the Adonai Judsons, the, the William Carey's, Jim Elliott's, if, if those are the only stories we're hearing, then we're doing a disservice to the body of Christ. And by telling George's story, I believe we are more faithfully serving the body of Christ and giving uh, African Americans and other uh, ethnic minorities uh, that, that vision of what could be the possibilities of the Lord can use me too to go and hit the mission field. He's left the charge to us. After you receive power, after you have that experience of the Holy Ghost, which comes at conversion, and God begins to work in your heart, you shall receive power, and you'll go, and you will be witnesses of mine in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. That's our charge. It has not changed in 2,000 years. So now, what you gonna do about it?
Hey, you going you going to uh, shortchange it? You know, you give it a couple of pennies here. Are you going to give uh, a dollar here? Are you going to go and visit this country here? You know, all of that is good. Every dollar helps, but nothing like bodies. Nothing like people taking their own heart to go into missions.